Are you ready to take your team to the next level in First Lego League? Wondering how to build the perfect team, assign roles strategically, and, most importantly, what secrets champions are keeping to make their seasons unforgettable? If any of those questions keep you up at night, you're in the right place. Today, we're uncovering the answers every FLL coach and team member needs to know. And to help us out, we're once again joined by Coach Silva. Get ready, he's about to share some of his most valuable tips and proven strategies that will give you a real edge in First Lego League. Ready for the key to success? Then hit play and let's dive in. Hi coach, welcome back. What's the most important thing a coach needs to understand about tournament evaluation to prepare their team well, especially in the qualitative areas? The key is realizing that the qualitative areas, the innovation project, robot design, and core values, are judged using rubrics that don't focus on perfection. They're looking for evidence of process, learning, and application of values. The robot game is the only part that's scored with numbers. The presentation is just one piece. Judges watch how the team interacts naturally the entire time. A coach has to help the team focus on all areas equally because they all carry the same weight when it comes to the top awards, like the Champions Award. So a strong team has to pay attention to all the judged areas, right? Exactly. But even more important, they should never lose sight of what they're learning and that they're having fun along the way. Great. Now let's talk about building a team. What's your essential advice for coaches who want to create a positive environment and help all their members grow? My recommendation is to encourage role rotation throughout the season. This helps everyone develop multiple skills and discover new strengths, building a team culture of trust, respect, and fun. So basically, everyone does a bit of everything? Yes. The idea is that team members don't just stick to one area. Everyone should know a bit about everything. That not only builds skills, it also helps with team bonding and effective collaboration. That's a great tip, coach. All right, last question. When it comes to preparing the team, what's the secret to having a successful season? Success isn't about doing everything perfectly from the start. It's about moving forward consistently, reflecting on what you've learned, and having fun. Sometimes the robot doesn't win, but the team's growth leaves a lasting impact. It's a journey, not just a destination. As a coach, it's your job to help them see that. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next. See you in the next one.